Hi guys, we are going over the ability to insert PDF files directly into Home Inspector Pro. This feature was added into Home Inspector Pro 5. Um, I'm going to use an example here. Uh, wind mitigation is something I hear from time to time that guys want to insert inside the report. So what I'm going to do first, uh, I'm just going to go to Edit Template and I'm going to add a new section of the report. And We definitely don't have to do this. We can insert the PDFs anywhere in the report we want. I just want to show the extra little effort here to make this look nice. So I added a WinMit section. And then to insert PDFs, you go to Manage Documents, and you'll notice there's an option here, Insert PDFs. Now, I have a list of all my sections in the report. I also have a ability to add the PDF at the start of the report, before the cover page, after the cover page, or after the end of the report. So in this case, I'm going to select my new WinMit section, and I'm going to click on Add Document. And I'm going to select the document in the report, or doc, the PDF that I want. Click Open. And that document is added. You'll notice, oops, I had forgotten to click on it. No big deal. I'll just drag that up there. You can actually drag these PDFs into any section you want. And once that's done, uh, that PDF is going to attach directly. If it's within a section, it'll actually reduce down in size slightly so that your page borders and page numbering actually continues through those. If you put it at the end of the report, then it will not add uh, additional borders and everything on it. It's, it'll look more like an addendum. So I'm going to go to Generate Report. And I'm just going to name this uh, PDF doc insert test and let's go down to our WinMit section and you'll notice that right here is that wind mitigation form inserted directly into the report. And the WinMit form itself, the PDF actually had that page 104, so obviously it's not going to change that data. But in the report, the actual page numbering, page 30, 31, 32, and 33 are actually that form beautifully inserted inside the report. Uh, if I had obviously filled that data out in the PDF, then the filled out PDF is what would be inserted directly in there. So this is super simple. If you guys have any questions on this, please email help at homeinspectorpro.com or click on help desk on our website or give us a call. Thank you very much.